Hello Aquarius, it is AD with Chaos Tarot and I'm going to be doing your end of January 2019 reading. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and being patient with me. Um, I truly appreciate that guys. Do not forget to check out the description box on booking a, pers a personal reading from me. Also in the description box you can find my Instagram link, um, the cards I use, the crystals I use, and all that good stuff. So if you have any questions, more than likely it's entered in the description box. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe guys. Um, I appreciate all of it and drop a comment. And without any further ado, let's get into your reading. Alright, thank you so much Aquarius welcome to the channel if you're new welcome if you're old <laughs> all are welcome okay let's see Aquarius oh wow so we have the ten of cups fly out so beautiful overjoy happiness family being you know extremely um, light and airy being surrounded by loved ones spreading love giving love Aquarius so this is absolutely beautiful and um, perhaps some of you guys could be tapping into that ph philanthropic and um, humanitarian side of yourself giving to charities volunteering um, trying to get engaged in your co community perhaps that was a interest for some of you guys and for other of you you are going to be expecting children or being surrounded by children in some way um you could certainly be hearing about a a pregnancy okay let's see what's going on for Aquarius yep and then that, that, that was a six of cups so some of you guys congratulations um you're going to be a father all right so we also are a mother <laughs> So we have the Knight of Cups come in, followed by the Nine of Wands. So it seems like emotionally you are either blocking off somebody's um, emotional advances, uh, proposal, apologies, etc., etc., or I can't remember what's the first one I said. So I'm going to start that statement over again. You are either blocking somebody that's coming towards you that's being open or you're being blocked. Um... It seems like there is a friction when it comes to like that emotional conversation and that emotional part of a relationship where somebody might feel unsatisfied or unhappy. Um, but instead of like dealing with it, they're either keeping it in and holding it in or the other person is communicating and this person is not being an active participant in the healing process. Okay, it's kind of what I got from that particular combination. Oh my goodness gracious. And then we have the star card, which is y'all. Oh, I'm sorry. We have the moon card, which fly out. So emotional, deep. Libras have this too. So I'm, I'm assuming that air, air signs are going through some pretty emotional stuff. And then at the bottom of the deck, of course, we have the lovers. Um, so I assume that there's something that's going on astrologically with you air signs where you guys are being confronted with your subconscious and kind of out of your realm as far as dealing with emotions um some of you guys feel like you are a fish out of water or you're swimming up some some pretty harsh tides um or you're being confronted with someone else's dark secrets and, and you're learning how to deal with that because the moon definitely represents the subconscious and then we have the knight of cups so that's pisces cancer scorpio energy but you know we had a loving energy coming in and then it's blocked or something's wrong so somebody could be dealing with some traumas i feel like somebody might have been somebody close to you or somebody you, you yourself may have been triggered by all of this r kelly talk um i think that some of you guys are really thinking about your bodies in that way um i don't know that's really specific to you guys um anyways let's see and to that i say if you are battling or you were triggered or something or you know somebody who's suffering then um <laughs> have those conversations that need to be had do not be afraid to open up do not be afraid to speak up do not be afraid to share your stories they are valid you are loved never 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 forget that even if you want to share that experience with me you know you can certainly find my contact information in the description box okay so just be aware um that was probably really specific that might only be for one person but somebody might be dealing with some past traumas in that way okay don't know where that came from so we'll see anyways at the bottom of the deck we have the judgment card so this is revelation things that are coming back still on the same um category things are coming back
back from the dead, asking for a second chance, resurrecting themselves. You know, some people could just simply be apologizing to, uh, uh, you know, another, I don't know, somebody could be apologizing to you, somebody could be wanting a second chance with you, you yourself could be wanting a second chance within yourself. You're, you're looking at a, a situation present itself and you're just like, I want a new start. I want to go after what I want. I don't want to be in the state anymore or what have you. You know, I'm getting that energy where there's like a jubileness, where it's like a aha, you know, realization. A lot of you guys are coming to conclusions now. Um, powerful underlying energy, okay? So the heart of the reading we still have is the lover. So it could be connecting with the Gemini. Oof, we have death. All this major ener energy, Aquarius, no wonder why your cards are flying out, alright? So we have death as the past energy. You could be connecting with the Scorpio. We have the seven of wands presenting itself as the current um, we have the Six of Swords as the most likely outcome, and then we have the Four of Swords <coughs> um, as the card of advice. All right, Aquarius. Okay, so there, there's some shit happening. All right, nobody has to, nobody has to tell me that. I don't care what y'all say in the comment section. Um, there's some shit that's going on. Um, possibly you found out some information about a decision that had to be made with the lover's card being here but i'm going to go ahead and clear just clarify this first line um because the outcome is pretty clear um you got to take a break for yourself whatever it is that this is um it's not, you got to take a break for yourself and retreat and, and heal um there's no need to push through something if you feel like you're broken by it um you you're certainly turning your back on a situation and, and moving away it's going to be for the best um there is certainly a transformation that is happening um you are entering into a new cycle of your life this is a metamorphosis a transformation some of you guys have learned some new things about yourself about your wants and your desires and you are have to lay parts of you to rest in order to get there um or again you're dealing with some dark demons from the past you're dealing with some things from the past that have really affected you and now it's time to lay those swords down lay it to rest when you've been defensive about it in the past you've been you know chip on your shoulder you've been hard to connect with hard to get to you've kept it inwards you you haven't really spoke on it you haven't spoke about it now you are leaving some of those habits behind of that defensive energy you're walking away um and you know take a moment to heal take a moment to retreat into yourself take a moment to check in with yourself um because this is a major this is a major shift that's happening this is a major outcome you know i am i am i'm sorry to be dark but i am hearing molestation for some of you guys i i, I am <laughs> or, or sexual sexual something sexual especially with the death card here you know with scorpionic energy and, and the lovers uh, I'm getting something uh, sexual. <laughs> it could be inappropriately. All right, inappropriately. So, all right. So let's get the judgment card. Three, two, three. one. All right. Judgment. The Queen of Wands. So again, with the sexual energy. Okay. So the Queen of Wands we have here. So this is fire energy. So this is um, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, kind of burning the burning that path. Um, you could have had a re revelation about who the fuck you are. You could have a revelation about your sexual prowess and your sexual energy and where you want to go with that. Um, and what you plan to do with it and what you plan to get from it. Wink, wink. You know what I'm saying, Aquarius. But a lot of you guys could be receiving a lot of attention. People are paying attention to you. People want to know what you're up to, what you're doing. So much to the point where, like... You just want to retreat. I feel like this is kind of a bugaboo situation where some of you guys are, are, want to be alone, but you, you can't right now because you, you're thrust into the spotlight. There's just a lot of attention on you. There's a lot of attention on talking about you, focusing on you, asking you questions, wanting to get to know something. And I, and I sense that there is a um, resentment and a resistance, right, with this defensive energy that's coming in. It's just, it's coming, it's coming towards you, but it's not necessarily uh, welcomed. All right, it's not the most welcomed energy on the planet. All right, and then we had, oh, we had a flipper. Sorry, guys. The two of swords with the lovers. So somebody is refusing to make a decision. Somebody's refusing to make a decision. Um, they hear no, see no. They're, they're not, <laughs> they're not an active participant in the decision making process they're kind of hoping that fate is going to have a hand but what but what's going to happen is like it doesn't matter because you're walking away from the situation and retreating anyway 
So you can stay blindfolded, you know, you can stay blindfolded um, with two two swords up, like that's going to do something Aquarius, but it does seem like there is going to be movement that's going to happen. Um, that's going to leave you alone either by choice or by, you know, that's just how the cookie crumbles. Ah, hold on. Oh. So yeah, so we have the four of swords come out again. So some of you guys are certainly retreating. There's a choice that has to be made. This could possibly be with a relationship that you're in. A relationship that you're in is coming to an end. Um, you're, you guys aren't even on good terms right now. That That's the thing. Like, this is... You're not even on good terms. <laughs> if this is a, an ending of a relationship with the Seven of Wands being here, both of you guys are, are fighting like cats and dogs. You're so defensive towards one another. There's just a lack of trust. There's no trust in this relationship. Everything is an assault. Um, and this could be a partnership or a friendship, but there's just an unwillingness to compromise. Everybody's so defensive. Everybody has some shit to say. They're, you're just not on the same page. You're not on the same vibration or wavelength <coughs> at all. And so the best thing that you can do at this point in time is, like, put it to rest. At least for the time being, you know? Um, with this death card. And it seems like you're going to emerge from it. It's going to, yeah, you, you emerge from it this very clear with this Ace of Swords here. So you come and it presents a new opportunity. Yeah, it could have been a third-party situation. Yeah, certainly cheating, 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 cheating. Um, some of you guys could have been in a third party situation with somebody who was married. Um, you could have been the married person in a third party situation, but somebody realized this shit. This shit came to light, um, hard and heavy with the three of swords here. There was clarity. So we went from the ace of swords, which is clarity to the three of swords, which is heartbreak to the seven of swords, which is deception to the king of swords, which is your energy here. Um, so I don't know if you're the one who inflicted this. <laughs> pain onto someone else's poor heart um if you were the one who was active in a third party situation and now you kind of are receiving the comeuppings of that um karma you know fate you're, you're having to choose between two people that you didn't want to decide before um you have to choose to, lo to leave somebody behind one of the situations that you are in is leaving you exhausted drained um and, and you choose to leave or you've been finding comfort in another person or this energy applies to the person in which you're connecting with but either way infidelity specifically is p going to be brought to light in some way um there's going to be a decision that has to be made as if you're going to stay or retreat into this and this is not the time to ignore it and act like it's not happening there is no ignoring that this shit's happening it's too much major energy okay um you can be defensive if you want to be aquarius um and act like you're above it and act like you know people are being childish people are being just very unreasonable as far as how they emotionally feel about this situation you can try to do that but it's not going to work in the long run for you there is going to be a separation you could end up just traveling taking a vacation taking a break there's going to be a separation of some sort and the best thing that you can do in the situation is pause and reflect and think about how you're going to act differently in the future and this could deal with if you're dishing this or receiving this this is not specific to if you're the quote cheater in this or if you're the cheaty like this is either way from the situation it's causing a huge metamorphosis transformation in the way that you view relationships um you're you're coming to realizations about yourself and the other party and from this what do you, you have to take some time to look at the situation i mean you went from the three swords to the four swords after major trauma heartbreak no matter how it happens right you have to take some time so you can heal from that and recover. And as you're healing, you're, you're most likely going to be reflecting, okay? So, that's what I got for y'all from that. We're going to pull some oracles. So, pretty interesting readings. A lot of, um, a lot of storylines, guys. <coughs> um, so, yeah. Again, if you need a friend, right, Aquarius, um, there is an open invitation from me. Um to talk about whatever it is that you need to talk about if that storyline resonated with you okay let's see three two and uno oh wow we have be bold and make the first move as the underlying energy so great <laughs> 
great. Go after what you want. Um, the, this, this mood could be like, if you're in a situation <coughs> where you both know that you're not happy with one another, you're both being self-centered, okay? Just because you're holding on to familiarity and comfortability, but you both know that you deserve better, you deserve happiness, then the best thing that you can do is be bold and make that first move. Don't stay in that state of acting like you don't know what the fuck is going on. You are not in La La Land, Aquarius. You are on planet Earth. I'm sorry. And this is coming from a Pisces, so I've had to give myself that same speech over and over again almost every day. But, like, you're on planet Earth. Emotions are real. People's feelings are real. Um, you have to take action. You can't just ignore something and and, and, and it go away. It, it's going to creep up, okay? So now Spirit is asking you to be bold, for you to take that first step, even if that first step is walking away. Okay, Aquarius? Communication is key. Uh, also, following behind that, which is great. And then even followed by the answers you need are coming. So... There is clarity that's coming in. There's this revelation. I mean, obviously, with the underlying energy being the judgment card. I mean, the answers that you need to come in communication is is key. People are going to re reveal to you their secrets, possibly um, their frustrations. We have don't let your past hold you back. Okay, which is absolutely beautiful as far as, like, making that same thing. And this has been such a theme. Work through your fears. And don't act like you don't have any Aquarius. Everybody has fears, okay? Especially if it's your past. So if this goes into what I was saying earlier, it's just like you can't live in fear. If you feel like you need to open up and speak about something, you know, work through that. Don't let things that happened a long time ago hold you back. If it's time to leave a situation, leave a situation. If it's time to open up about a certain situation and you're comfortable enough to do that because that helps you in your healing process, then now, it, now it's time to be bold and make those first moves for you, okay? And it's really going to start with you, whatever this means. It starts with solitude. It ends in solidarity. So this is a decision that you and you alone have to make. You have to get in tune with yourself in order to know, do you stay? Do you go? Do you have these conversations or do you not have these conversations? Who are you having these conversations with? It's that type of energy Aquarius, okay? <coughs> Nothing wrong with that for the end of January. Mercy, okay? Just try to make an appearance. Aquarius, please. Ooh. Cleansing. Ah, I love when the cards do this. I really do. I do. I really do. Cleansing. This is exactly what I'm saying. There's a purging effect. And I mean, look. Ugh. Ugh. This just sums this up so perfectly. Even down to the judgment card. It just sums this up so perfectly. You're releasing things. Don't let the past hold you back don't let tight relationships hold you back just because they're comfortable for you don't let hurt hold you back because it's comfortable for you it's time to release detox drink some tea you guys um because aquarius you know there's going to be some movement some shifts that are happening but it's for the better and you know that you know that you just are you don't know what's on the other side of it but it doesn't matter because it's, it's going to be 10 times better than what you have now you're uncomfortable now like i was like with this you can't tell me that you're not uncomfortable now so i i know <laughs> probably but what do you have to lose <coughs> what do you have to lose okay so that's all I got for you, Aquarius. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and leave a comment below. And check out the description box um, for personal readings and just any information. Can't wait to see you guys soon. Peace, Aquarius. Thank you so much.